depth of field is one of the harder concepts to work with in the camera, so let me show you how you can figure out what's going on. The uh, aperture on your lens is this ring right here, and it goes from a uh, bright lens, it goes from f2 all the way to f22, and it represents the fraction of light that's actually coming in the front of the lens and enter exiting the back of the lens. So an f2 stop would mean that half the light that's coming in the front is going out the back, f4 would mean a quarter of the light that's coming in the front is going out the back and so on. So if you take the lens out and take a look at it, f2 would be wide open and f22 would be a very small hole much like your pinhole camera and if you remember from the pinhole camera at something like f22 you get a lot of things in focus. The only catch is when you look through your camera you never get to see this because the camera when you mount the lens opens as wide open and only when it takes the photo releases it and right after it opens it up again. So you only ever see what is ever is at f2 or at the brightest part of the lens you never see this dark part. So that's why you have to use the distance scale that's on the lens here to figure out what's actually going to be in focus. So let's put the lens back on and here's our lens. So on the front of our lens, we have our distance, our um, aperture, right here, f2, all the way to f22. And then we have our distance scale on the lens itself, that's showing us what's going to be in focus. And in between, we have called what's called the depth of field scale, which are these little numbers here. And that's what I'm going to show. So if you're shooting at f2, and you focus on something that's relatively close, then you would only have the foreground in focus and all the background would be blurry, much like this. If you focus on something further away, let's say at five, six meters away, then your background would be in focus, but your foreground would be blurry, much like this. Now, if you change your camera and switch to F22 and you focus somewhere in the middle, then you would get everything from five meters all the way down to one meter or so in focus it would look much like this. Now how do you figure out what you're actually going to get in focus? So if you look at this little depth of field scale at f2 you only get things that are at right at the spot where you're focusing so in this case at two meters away. When I'm switching to F4, I'm going to start to get a little bit more into focus, and that's why it gives you a little number of fours on either side of the red dot. When you get to F8, you get even more in focus, so now you can read your distance from here, so in this case from about 8 feet, all the way to you know, 1.6 meters or 6 feet or so. All of that's going to be in focus. At F22, you can read from the far end over here, all the way to the far end over here on your distance scale. So in this case, if I'm focusing at two meters away, I'm actually going to get things from five meters all the way down to one meter and a bit in focus. Okay. If I focus a little further away, let's say at five meters away, or even at uh, three meters away, my lens actually is going to have everything from almost infinity all the way down to 1.6 meters in focus, six feet in focus. That's why if you ever bought one of those throwaway cameras, they always say have your subjects at least six feet away from the camera, and then everything will be in focus. And that's how they do that. Okay, so when you take your photo, remember, if you want lots in focus, like this, shoot at f22. If you want to have only part of it in focus, shoot at f2, and then you have to decide, are you going to have your near subject in focus? Or are you going to focus further away and have only your far subject in focus?